guys, I am here with my March favorites. And yes, I took the ombre out of my hair. It was just looking really dry and fried and I just didn't like it. So I went ahead and dyed it back to my natural hair color. And I was so surprised that this actually looks exactly like my natural hair color. And this is the Dark Brown by Garnier. So this is what I put on top. And it absolutely covered all the highlight and just made it look seamlessly one color again. So that's what I went ahead and did. Okay, so now to my favorites. The first favorite is these bad boys right here. Kiss um, Fake Lashes. This is O2. And these are the Ever Easy Lashes. And these are the most lightweight, easy, cheap lashes that I've ever found. As you guys know, I have really small eyes. I've tried so many times, I can't even explain to you, to put lashes on. And I always end up taking them off because they either look way too long, like almost touching my eyebrows, or they just look so heavy that it kind of like makes me look like I'm squinting. So I've had such an ordeal trying to find lashes that look nice on me, especially since I have small eyes. And definitely these are it. I actually have them on right now. Let me get in a little closer. And you can see how natural they look. And they're so lightweight and nice. And another cool thing about this is that it comes with a little tool right here. And it's this right here. And it's nice and flat and big enough to be able to hold the lashes and put them on. I know you can use just your regular pair of tweezers, but tweezers are usually really pointed or really sharp at the end. And it's a pain to hold on to lashes with them. So I absolutely love this. It's a little, just a little plastic holder for them. And it made it extremely easy. I also like the fact that the band, I didn't even have to cut the ends off, which I usually have to do with other lashes. And with this one, I didn't have to do with it at all. It Like, the size is, is small enough to fit my whole eye from side to side. So definitely if you have big eyes, this probably won't be a full lash for you because they're a lot smaller. But I absolutely love them. If you're looking to try lashes and you're scared and you want to try some, try these. This was $4.99 at Walgreens and it has two pairs plus the little easy and... They look super natural and nice. I can't say enough about these. So I am in love. And I will try a, maybe a little bit more dramatic from this line from Kiss and see how it goes. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Next up are these Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencils. And they look like this. I actually got this off of Hot Look or Hot Look a few, well, not a few months ago. Like a while ago. Quite a few months ago. And I absolutely love these. These are my favorite colors. It's Rehab, Sin, and Juju. Right there. This one's like a dark brown. Then this is a light um, pinkish beige. And then a, a light brown. These are absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch some of them. As you can see right there. That is Rehab. And they just glide on your eyes. You can just smudge them and they last all day. They don't crease and they also make great bases. So I am in love with these. I also got a few colors because I got them in a set and it came with, I think, five colors in total. But these are my three favorite ones. These have saved me so many times when I wake up late for work and that way I can just run it all over my eyelids, smudge it on the top a little bit so it blends in and leave. And I am in love, but these things by themselves are super, super expensive. I would not buy this on its own. I would wait and see if they, when Urban Decay throws them out in sets and that kind of thing. Because by itself, I think like one pencil, it's it's a little longer than this, but it's about around like 20 something dollars. So that's a little high end for me. Um, but I definitely do love them. Next up is this beautiful color by MAC and it's Melba. I know I've only had it for like five days now, but it's actually what I have on my cheeks. I absolutely love it. It's just like this, it's like weird to describe because it looks kind of like a neutral coral pink, like more of a coral, but it looks just so nice on the cheeks. It just, just blends in seamlessly. It's a matte color. I am in love. And that is the swatch of it right there. It's so pigmented. And I can't believe I found this at my CCO, which by the way, CCO is Cosmetic Company Outlet. And if you Google it, you will find right away the first website is going to be Mall Seeker Cosmetic Company Outlet, something like that. And once you click there, you will see all the different states 
that have them available and where they're located. Here in Florida, we're lucky to have seven of them, and in Orlando, we have two. So I have two that are available to me, and I always go there first for MAC products, Estee Lauder, uh, Bobby Brown, those kinds of brands because they always have a discount. I'm not sure if it's just overstock stuff that then they reduce it, but it's a great place to buy um, products like this. Most of the products that I have in my collection that are MAC or high-end, I get from CCOs. There are things that, like let's say the Maryland collection from MAC, that I would have to pay a full price for and go to a MAC because more than likely it won't end up at a CCO. It'll be sold out before anything is overstocked and goes to a CCO. So uh, definitely check if you have a CCO. It's definitely worth it. They don't have every single range of color and you know it's not like going into a Mac store. It's what you can find. So whenever you find something definitely buy it because usually when you go, go back it's hard to find it again. Okay, enough ranting about the CCO. Okay, next up is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, the Garnier Roll-On, and the Match Perfection. These three concealers have been my staples this month. I have used this underneath both of these and by itself. The days that I don't have a lot of dark circles, I will use this because this doesn't give a lot of coverage, but it does give a lot of brightening and anti-aging properties, so I absolutely love this. And this is in the color Light. And then these two just kind of add more coverage. And this is the, uh, the color Fair Light. And this one is in Beige by NYX. And I absolutely love these. They blend in seamlessly. Either I will use my Beauty Blender Dupe uh, sponge. Or I will just use a little fluffy brush that I have from Eco Tools, Which is right here. This is my absolutely favorite brush for concealer it just is so soft to go underneath your eyes and it just blends in seamlessly all type of concealer I will repurchase this over and over again I absolutely adore it okay next up talking about beauty blender dupes I am in love with this as you can tell it's like super super dirty I've been using it every single time I can it's so nice for just like everyday natural makeup when you want it to just blend into your skin and look so nice. I did do a video on this and a review and kind of a demo on it so you can definitely see it there. But it is so good. I am so mad that every time I've gone to TJ Maxx, they haven't brought it back. So I am freaking out because I want a backup and then there was also another subscriber of mine. She couldn't find it. And I promised her whenever I find it, I will get her one too, but I haven't found it at all and it's just frustrating me because I'm afraid that this one with time is going to wear out and it keeps getting dirtier and dirtier and I, and I have washed it already once. I just used soap like I do my brushes and run, rinsed it out and it came out pretty clean. Uh, but I haven't found another one and it's just making me so sad. I really, really want to find it again. Okay, next up is Desert Essence Jeho Jojoba Oil, and this I've been using it all week long, this past week, and I am in love with this. I love the way your skin feels in the morning. It just looks so nice, and it's funny because it's an oil, and you wouldn't think that someone with combo oily skin could use this, but you can. Just use a few drops, you spread it in your hands, and then use it on your face, and then in the morning, you will see just like this brightness, this softness to your skin. I am in love with this. And even more awesome is that you can use it for your hair, you can use it for your skin, um, for your scalp. And it's 100% natural, so you, you just can't beat that. Okay, up next also is the Oasis. And this is a razor. I know this isn't... Well, it can be considered beauty, I guess. This razor is awesome. I mean, it has blades like a man's razor, if you, you guys know what I mean. Like, if you've ever stolen your husband or boyfriend's razor. And this gives just a really nice, close shave. I've absolutely been loving it. And it's cheaper than the Venus, which I used to always use the Venus. And then for my trip, I just wanted something cheap that if I lost it, I wouldn't be upset with it. So... I bought this and this is only around five dollars at Walmart and I am in love with it I threw away my Venus and just kept this because my Venus was getting old anyway so I was like from now on I'm gonna use this and it does have replaceable 
heads with it and you can buy the heads separately and they're way cheaper than the venus so the whole thing is so much better and it also brings a tiny little suction cup where you can hang it in your shower as you guys well. are gonna think i'm crazy but i have five foundations to talk about today i have in this month of march just have been a little cuckoo i have used a little bit of everything this month and um first off is the Kat Von D. I can't say enough about this foundation. I absolutely love it. I used it on my trip, so that was the first week of March. And it's just so flawless and nice. And it just looks so beautiful on the skin. The next up um, are from Drugstore. And it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. And I'm in the shade A42. And I absolutely love the way this goes on. The stay power on this. Uh, as you can see, I've been using it like crazy. It's already starting to go down. And this, to me, is one of the best products that CoverGirl has come out with. I absolutely love the finish. It's just great for someone who has oily to combo skin. It just stays on there. And it doesn't feel thick or cakey as well. Also, for oily to combo skin, the Wet n Wild Cover All. And this is in the shade Medium, I think. I uh, don't remember. Where's the name? Yeah, this is in the shade Medium Tan. And this is just so awesome. It gives a matte finish. I've also been mixing it with the CoverGirl. And it just looks absolutely awesome. It's actually what I have on my face today. It lasts all day. It covers. They are just so awesome. And even together, they work fabulous. Okay, and then last, which is something that I did in my last tutorial, is the Fit Me with the True Match. These, on the other hand, don't last that long on your skin. They fade really fast, and they, but they do give a natural finish, which is what I like. And I've been using this a lot to work. I don't want them to expire, and I've had them for a while, so I decided to start using them for work, and I've been using the Beauty Blender to blend them in, and it even looks so much better it looks just like skin it just looks so flawless so I've absolutely been loving mixing these two together and wearing them and I'm W4 on this one and 220 on this one okay then next this is a hair care product and this is the got to be guardian angel I absolutely love the way this smells I love using it for flat ironing my hair this is replacing my Tresemme the one that everyone talks about this is so much, I don't know, I just absolutely love the way it makes my hair feel. It makes it feel just soft and shiny and it smells awesome. And I really like the way the bottle sprays compared to the Tresemme one. So this is my new staple and this is what I'm going to be using from now on. I am in love with it. Then last is the Johnson Baby Bedtime Lotion. And I'm not sure, but I think this smells like lavender if I'm not mistaken okay it doesn't say what it smells like anyways it doesn't say what it smells like but it smells like lavender to me and it's in the the purple bottle and that's what it looks like this is so yummy oh <laughs> I'm squirting it out onto my nose Okay, this smells so yummy. I have been loving this after I take a shower. I am one of those people that loves to like rub myself down with lotion. And I usually use the Nivea one. And then for our trip, we wanted a bottle that was smaller. So I bought this for our trip. And me and my husband have been absolutely loving it. I am in love with baby lotion. It's just so nice and soft and it just blends in and just kind of is absorbed by your skin and at the same time it just leaves this nice soft smell and it just re kind of relaxes you when you're gonna go to bed kind of like you would for a baby uh, obviously I think that's why they call it the baby bedtime lotion but I absolutely love it give it a try it is so awesome I think that baby lotions are gonna be my new thing and this is what I'm gonna turn to for lotions now it just absolutely leaves your skin so so soft Okay, and I know I said last, but this is actually a total fail, no-no. If you see this, stay away from it. And these are the Rock Beauty Nail Rock Nail Caviar. And that's what it looks like. This is in the color... I don't know. 
Anyways, the one that's multicolored. These I found at Walgreens, and it does give these awesome nails like that. I did an accent nail one day, but it only lasts one day. I mean, you literally can't do anything with your nails. This is for someone who literally does not wash dishes, does not work, does not do anything for your nail to stay like that. I put this on and little by little these little beads kept falling off and changing colors to the point that it just looked icky. So I will not be obviously repurchasing this and I don't recommend this for anyone unless you absolutely don't do anything and you just or you're going to go to a special event and just use it for that one day. But other than that, it just just does not last on this on your nails. It it really sucks. If you have any ideas for making it last a little longer, let me know. Because even with a clear top coat, it just does not last. So that totally sucks. Okay, so that's all for my March favorites. I am gonna be filming a few more videos today. Uh, I think a haul and also an empties videos. So look out for those. And yes, I will be wearing the same clothes and same makeup, obviously, because I'm wearing, I'm recording more than one in one day. But uh, some people don't get that. I am so thankful for all you subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'm hoping to get some. I'm kind of accommodating, like accum accommodating, accumulating a few products to try to do a giveaway for you guys. As always, I don't announce my giveaways. I like to just kind of bring them into a video and kind of just mention them because I want people who actually are subscribed to me to win. I don't want someone to just subscribe to try to win my giveaway. You know what I mean? So anyways, I absolutely love you guys. Lots of kisses and I hope you guys have a great uh, week. <laughs> so take care. Bye.